Hey, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to do a video review for the LG GN950B. This is a 38 inch ultra wide monitor. And I actually wanted to do um, really an in-depth video review on this. I thought I would go through, I'll show you some of the options. We'll go through the menu. I'll talk a little bit about my experience now that I've been using this monitor and um, really just go through as much as I can. So let's start with the monitor itself. Um, I actually replaced a 34 inch um, ASUS monitor that I had here previously that had a maximum refresh rate of 100 Hertz. I recently upgraded to a uh, GeForce 4000 series here in my PC, so I have a 4080, and I wanted something that had not only a higher refresh rate, but I figured with that upgrade, I could go to much higher resolutions, allowing me still to play some of the latest AAA title games at maximum um, settings within like all the games that I'd be playing. And so far, I'm very, very impressed. Um, this monitor is absolutely amazing. This actually is 144 hertz out of the box. You have the ability to overclock this to 160 hertz, which I was able to do without any issues. This is actually a FreeSync monitor, but it is compatible, backwards compatible with G-Sync. So I had no issues going into the NVIDIA settings and actually setting this up with uh, G-Sync. Now, in terms of the monitor itself, one of the big pros that I found with this just out of the box is all the connections, and I'll actually just try to sneak back here, see if we can get a sneak peek. All of the connections are basically in this um, circular section here in the back. So it's very easy to plug everything in. Traditionally with past monitors, you'd be kind of going like under the monitor and it's always impossible to find where you're connecting things. I was also able to use um, this monitor arm here, which is more than enough to support this. This is kind of a heavy duty dual arm mount. I just tighten this enough and it is supporting the weight. As you can see, I have it probably about two to three inches off the height of my desk. So if you do want to uh, actually mount this on an arm, you get something stable enough, this isn't gonna be too, too overkill for that. I was also able to uh, make enough space here with um, this arm here that I have going across the side. The monitor measures about 35 inches across, whereas your typical 34 inch ultra wide is gonna be about 32 inches. So I was able to, with this particular monitor arm, move over my 27 inch here and make enough space I also gained, um, traditionally in the ultra wides, it's gonna be about the same height as like a 27 inch. I gained roughly about an inch here on the top. This runs at uh, 3840 by 1600. So that's gonna be your standard resolution and you're looking at a 21 by nine aspect ratio. Overall, um, everything on it looks really, really crisp. Um, going through, I actually brought the box in here just to give you some idea of some of the other specs and things that they're advertising with this. So it is an HDR monitor. Um, again, the 160 hertz, one millisecond. Um, you have the G-Sync compatibility. They also have what's called sphere lighting. So this is something they advertise here. And then um, more or less what that does is on the back of the monitor, there's actually a ring that kind of goes around. I'll see if I can show it here. There's a ring that um, pretty much where my finger goes here that goes all around the back of the monitor. So when this comes out of sleep mode or you boot it up for the first time, it actually has like a nice LED effect. And you can actually play with some of those settings as well. It's very easy to modify any of the settings on this monitor. There's a button here on the base in the middle. You just push this down and you can actually go in and control any of the settings. So here are actually some of the lighting settings. These are basically for the lights. This is a rotational piece. So I'm actually just gonna leave it on, um, I'll leave it on like static, which is white. And then there's another button here on the left. If you push this, you can go through power options, input settings, and then you can also go into your standard settings here. Now you have here the refresh rate, adaptive sync is on, in my case, HDR currently off, and then I have different game modes. So going through all those, um, I was playing a game, a shooter game that actually has more or less like a lot of dark shadows and I was playing around with some of these and overall I really liked Gamer 2 which is what the default was or the vivid settings. Now um, you can also change different things here like overclock settings, black stabilizers, response time, add a crosshair, you have your picture adjustments for all of your different brightness, contrast, sharpness, gamma, input settings, your general settings, there's actually speakers built into this, the behavior on the um, like standby time, lighting, HDMI and DisplayPort compatibility and pretty much anything that you need to go through when it comes to settings on this. Overall, I think if you're looking for an upgrade, maybe you're even someone now that's debating, you know, should I upgrade from a 34 inch ultra wide to something like this? 
I would say first make sure that you're gonna have a machine and a video card that's gonna be able to support that little bit of extra resolution because I did notice roughly going from that 3440 by 1440 resolution, I was seeing roughly about a 20 to 30 um, FPS difference when running settings on like high. Um, in my case with the 4080, I was able to get like on a more popular game, I'm running uh, currently an example game might be like Hunt Showdown, I can actually still get well over 100 FPS um, with the 160 hertz settings, everything fully maxed out, full detail, and this monitor just looks absolutely stellar. Um, we'll actually see if we can even load up a game. Um, why don't I do that just as a little demo and then that way you guys get an idea of what to expect from a gaming side of things. I'll jump into Steam here and we're going to launch um, Hunt Showdown. This is one of my favorite games that I really love playing on these larger monitors. Really gives you that depth to really see what's going on. So if you're playing like any modern shooters like Call of Duty, things like that, this is going to be really fantastic because your peripheral and like vision with this is going to be great. One thing that um, I really thought about when I was doing that upgrade, believe it or not, I actually have a um, 49 inch OLED up here that I previously had um, attached to my wall and was trying to use as a monitor. And I had that wall mounted up here in the back. I had my desk moved back, but the 49 inches was just too much. It was way too big. And I found that, you know, my eyes were almost like basically like feeling really almost drowsy. And I, d I was a little nervous going to this upgrade thinking, okay, you know, is this still going to be a little bit too big? And overall, I've found that it really, really works quite well. I haven't felt like it's too overwhelming or too much. This is probably about the biggest I would go um, in terms of, you know, playing something that it's not going to feel like it's overwhelming. So I'm just going to jump into basically what's considered a trial. This is sort of like a uh, single player mode on this game. And overall, um, I've just been ecstatic playing this. I'm actually noticing too that I'm having a little bit easier time when playing shooters, just being able to get into the action and really see what's going on, very clearly see um, other players and things like that from a distance. Um, so yeah, as an idea to you know give you some some expectation here. This is a game that's fairly demanding. It was actually made by the same developers of Crisis, and you can see right now I'm actually looking out. There's quite a bit of detail. Um, in the game here, I've got trees and all sorts of like foliage, other things going on, lots of shadows and things happening with this monitor. And right now I'm getting um, about 130 FPS, um, you can see here with the, um, the 4080. So really, really stellar just being able to play in a monitor like this, having this full peripheral, getting that extra space on the bottom and the top. And um, yeah, overall, I've, I've really found that using something like this with gaming is just absolutely stunning. So anyway, I thought I would give you a full um, walkthrough of this. If you have, um, you know, hopefully this has answered all your questions and given you some idea of what to expect if you decide to pick up this monitor. Another thing I will note is I actually decided to get this as the um, what's considered renewed version of the monitor. And um, I had no issues with that whatsoever. Um, it almost came as if it was new, but essentially the box was a little bit beat up. So I think if you're looking for um, something where you could pick up this monitor and you just know you really want an upgrade, this is definitely a good way to go. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review. I hope you found it helpful and I will talk to you later.